Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a bonus love reading for Taurus. This is focusing on new love energy. I know we're all in lockdown, but that's okay. You can still reach out social media. You all right? Might have to be a little patient, but I'm focusing on new love regardless. All right? New love energy. Exes may show up, so don't shoot the messenger. Just ignore it or it's not your reading okay new love energy for taurus who's coming in towards taurus who's taurus's a new love interest new love energy new love new love prospects for taurus who are the new love prospects heading taurus's way what does taurus need to know about any new love prospects and we have mending Okay. and we have new life ah yes some of you are going through a healing and you're ready to uh you're mending getting ready for a new life beautiful and we have peace wow there could be somebody coming in making peace with you wanting to mend things all right some of you are simply healing from something ready for something new you're feeling at peace okay whatever it is there's something new happening and it's peaceful it's lovely here we go, Taurus. Taurus, love energy in the cards. Who is coming towards Taurus for love? New love prospects for Taurus. New love for Taurus. Beautiful energy, Taurus. New love energy for Taurus. Here we go, yeah. So some of you are saying goodbye. Yep, something has ended. It's over. It was a painful ending and it's done. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, you've been putting a lot of work into yourself, Taurus, or there's somebody coming towards you uh, that's going through this. Yeah, somebody's coming headed your way. All right. Very nice. They've been working on themselves, concentrating on themselves, maybe even their money. They could be just getting their finances together. Yeah, there's some kind of victory, some kind of truth, uh, some kind of success and somebody may be having an epiphany they're ready for something new it's like aha i've worked through this i'm done i've ended something with someone i've healed and i'm ready to go yes empress energy there you are taurus yes you, look at this beautiful you are the empress you have a lot of abundance you have something new coming in somebody sees you this way beautiful energy and if it's you you could be finding your empress they could be a libra <laughs> yes look at that a wish come true Taurus something beautiful is about to happen here you're going to get a wish your wish come true yeah end of burdens this is going to end your burdens in your love life beautiful beautiful it could be an X for some of you yes I think it looks to me more like a lot of you are just ending something it's finished uh, you've been working on yourselves uh, you're having a victory you're having success you're ready to move forward. Yes. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. And we have, yeah, so there's a little conflict here. Some of you are having a hard time, but you are going to have peace. Some of you are leaving the things that don't work for you anymore and, and leaving, the, leaving it behind, taking the things that do work. You're going to find peace. Don't worry about it, okay? Yeah, so there's something ended. You hold, you held yourself in high regard here. Your hopes and dreams are coming true. You have a new life. You have some abundance coming in. This is definitely a card of healing, abundance, possibilities. Self-care as well, okay? You have everything you need. Somebody's going to see you that way. And we have, yes, moving towards the Ten of Cups, leaving behind any kind of conflict, any distrustful relationships, things that no longer work for you. All right, mental conflict, all of it gone. You're going to move forward towards peace. All right, you're heading to get that Ten of Cups or there's somebody who's coming towards you for that Ten of Cups or you're going towards someone else. Take it however it resonates. It could go any way here. Taurus. There we go. Yes, stability. Financial security, stability, commitment. All right. Something grounded, something practical, somebody reliable, safe and secure. Beautiful. Yeah, there's something lovely is happening for you guys. I love this. 
ending something painful, done, saying goodbye to somebody. I feel like you, you've ended a painful situation because you've been working on yourself, maybe concentrating on your work to get over something. You're definitely having success. But I feel as though a lot of you are getting having epiphanies or like this aha moment. All right. And uh, you're just ready for something new. So that's wonderful. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Yes, there we go. Yeah, so some of you are ending a commitment and a marriage. All right, your old beliefs, your old traditions, and leaving it behind. Wow. Yeah, you're no longer going to work towards anyone or put any effort into anyone who isn't doesn't have your same beliefs and traditions, who isn't loyal, who doesn't want marriage. So you may be leaving a past marriage or leaving those old beliefs and traditions behind. Okay. Uh, plain and simple. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Why is this here? Ah, uh, yes. Gaining your strength and confidence. Yeah, you've been working on yourself. You're feeling strong. You're feeling confident. Okay, yes, you're having some success and a victory here. I love this. You're mended. You're healed. Beautiful. Or it's someone headed your way. <laughs> Tell me about this. Yes. Yeah, you've been holding on, keeping your balance. Some of you are holding on to your money as well. Some of you are looking at all the details here and you're keeping things close to your chest. Okay, you're, you know that you may need to do that. There's somebody that you may be holding on to. All right, some things, but you're having success uh, to do with something you held on to that was very painful. Okay, and uh, yeah, so it's done. It's finished. Uh, you're clearing that energy out, no longer holding on to the past, holding on to your past beliefs, traditions, your old behaviors, whatever it is, past relationships, people who didn't commit. You're strong, you're confident, okay? You're building that up. Beautiful. Tell me about this Empress energy, Taurus. Oh, there goes my dog, Taurus. Taurus, there we go. Yes, yeah, so you're not giving up. You're not giving up, and there may be somebody who's not giving up on you. Somebody may be coming in to surrender. Uh, they got, you're not giving up on your hopes and dreams. No, you're going to put this behind. You're putting any burdens behind, dropping them. It's over. Okay, so very, very nice. You're so close. You're healed. Like, you're so close to having your dream come true in this new life. Uh, in fact, it's, it's right here. So it's keeping your dreams intact, healing and purging past relationships, past burdens, people, things that didn't work out, work in your favor, no longer putting any effort into that. So lovely things you've been holding on to that don't work. Okay. Tell me about the star. What's going on with the star? Why is the star here? Oh, we got so many. I think I'll just flip them back over and start over because too many. I don't know which came out first. Tell me about the star. What are these hopes and dreams? Yeah, there's a lot of hopes and dreams here I'm feeling. So yeah, this is the one card that was upright. So we have the magician. Yeah, so some of you are on the cusp, Taurus and Gemini cusp. Some of you have a Gemini or a Virgo. Uh, who is your hopes and dreams? You may have manifested this or you have somebody who's manifesting you because they see you as the Empress. This person's not giving up on you. They're coming your way. Okay, this person wants to carry the weight, carry the burdens. Uh, absolutely beautiful some there's somebody here who wants a new beginning and they're manifesting you and some of you are manifesting your hopes and dreams putting an end to your burdens because you're letting go of something or someone uh, heal allowing yourself to heal but you're not giving up on love and i like that it's very important ten of wands never give up on your hopes and dreams yes look at that taurus so taurus you're you're you've got plans or you have a taurus virgo or capricorn you may have a virgo who's manifesting you but this could be you all right manifesting money some of you are planning your future concentrating on your money working very hard feeling strong and confident while you're working okay definitely holding on to your money planning into the future uh, go working through the process uh, some of you have a lot of burdens you are working a lot but it's okay there's somebody coming towards you too i feel that wants to it's like they want it there's someone coming towards you or it's you that has a lot of finances has a, that's willing to carry the weight somebody's coming in to take some kind of a responsibility 
Okay, I feel like you're trying to be very responsible. You're looking into the future. You're manifesting finances. You're manifesting someone or them you. Oh, it's difficult when it comes up this way, especially with this card. It very well could be a Virgo headed in your direction uh, that's planning a future with you, ready to carry the weight, take some responsibility. Someone's going to carry some of the weight, some of the burden, some of the responsibility. Maybe that's what you're manifesting, okay, as well. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, some of you definitely... Uh, Wow, you want peace, yeah, some of you are ready, you're not giving up, you want commitment, you want marriage, some of you are a little bit conflicted though, you feel as though, yeah, you got, there's some things you need to leave behind here, okay, to do with past conflicts, to do with the house, a home, marriage, commitment, some of you are definitely um, having a hard time, you're going to look into the future, be very careful, try to leave everything behind leave the baggage and the burdens in the past okay if you want to manifest a new beginning okay try not to carry this conflict in this lack of trust and commitment a lack of trust in marriage okay you have to let that go and i feel like you are you're going to walk away from one relationship that you feel isn't going to lead to a marriage or a commitment and towards another one something more stable okay you're going to find peace here so this is beautiful tell me about the eight of cups Wow, interesting reading. Tell me, about, there's a lot of things going to change while everyone's in lockdown. Yeah, so somebody's le walking away from conflict, things that no longer work, no longer serve them. Past conflict, um, walking away from that uh, lack of trust that you can actually commit or marry somebody or find it. It could be as simple as that because it's right here. Okay, something stable. Some of you are going to uh, have financial stability too. And uh, you're releasing your burden. So th there's that happening as well. So holy cow, you guys. you got a whole new life coming. You're going to be at peace. Okay, it's going to be very peaceful. Some of you just want peace. You just want to be committed. Um, okay, you're willing to carry a lot of the burdens, I feel. Or there's somebody coming in here who will carry your burdens. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, vice versa. Taking responsibility. If it's a Virgo, it's both of you. Okay, have this King of Pentacles energy where you're holding on to your money, you're working hard, uh, thinking about marriage and stability, working together to ease each other's burdens. All right, this could be a whole new life. Yeah, somebody's reaching out, reciprocating very generously. Okay, this is reciprocating back and forth. Wow, you both want this. You both want justice, fairness, balance. Lovely. You both want to be married. Uh, you both want commitment. You're both going to do your fair share when it comes to the finances, the financial burdens. Uh, there's something really peaceful about this person uh, that you're manifesting or this person who's coming towards you. Okay. You want to do things by the book. You're putting an end to something. Uh, your past beliefs. Somebody who you maybe believed you were going to marry or commit to, okay? Definitely not putting any more work in it. You're gaining strength and confidence, and you're having some success here. So you're looking at the details. You're going to be grounded, practical, and more realistic in the future. So, And I really, really love that energy. Uh, that's the best way to be. So let's see what the outcome of it is. Oh, actually, let's clarify this mending. It'll give us a little more. That's your overall energy. Mending, healing, letting something go. Yep, there's a truth. So if there's something that's being cleared out. You're having success. You've healed. Okay, so you're taking your energy and your passion. You're putting it elsewhere. You're going to communicate. Somebody's coming in uh, towards you, too, that may have healed. They may have ended a relationship that didn't work. Cutting it out. Healing. Coming in to speak a truth. So someone may be having an aha moment about you as well. There's going to be some very swift communication. Yeah, there's a lot of possibilities here. Okay, there's a lot. Somebody sees the possibilities in you they see see you as that person you got new life tell me about this new life beautiful somebody else got actually a few people have gotten this card so boy raise that vibration think positive yep somebody is coming you got cancer pisces scorpio somebody wants a new life somebody wants a new lease somebody's emotionally available ready for love to offer up that cup this is somebody who's a family person all right ten of pentacles is family tradition relationships commitment marriage reciprocating it being more generous uh equal give and take justice balance beautiful fairness Whew. 
<laughs> peace. We've got peace here, Taurus. Let's see. Yes. Some there's balance here. There's balance between the two of you. There's going to be peace. Things are going to balance out. And uh, there's decisions. You're both going to make a very balanced decision. You're going to see the balance between the two of you. Lovely. Tell me about this King of Cups energy. Yeah, so this is you or your person coming towards you. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We got Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Leo, Libra energy. Libra, Taurus. Yeah, so there could be a Libra here as well. We have Aquarius energy in the middle. Beautiful. Yep. Yeah, so you, there's someone here. Yep. Yeah, that's single. That's coming towards you. So somebody is now ready. They've healed from a past relationship. They're single. They're coming towards you. They hold you in high regard. You have everything that they want. Some of you have prepared for this. And this person sees this. They see you as being very prepared, having everything. And they are also that way. Uh, you're reciprocating. You're both back and forth. That's the balance between you. Lovely, lovely energy. Oh, wow, you guys. Tell me about this magician. Ah, yes, look at that, the star. Somebody holds you in high regard. They want to manifest this new beginning, manifesting their hopes and dreams. They see you as this. Some of you have held yourself in high regard, okay, because you are manifesting your hopes and dreams, that perfect person. It's a vice versa. You both hold each other in high regard. You're both manifesting each other. You're both healing and purging your past baggage and, all right, dropping your past burdens, uh, relationship baggage to move forward. Not giving up on your hopes and dreams. Not going to happen. Nope. Beautiful. Holding out. Not, not giving up on the abundance. All right. On the prosperity. On love. Healing and nurturing. Beautiful, beautiful energy, you guys. I don't think I've seen a reading uh, that has so many beautiful possibilities. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. More energy on this King of Pentacles. More clarity, please. Yep, could be someone from your past or somebody who has very sweet feelings. This is somebody, too. Like, when I see this, it's not always a reconciliation. It could be. Uh, but I really don't feel it, to be honest. I actually feel... Uh, somebody wants to create sweet memories. They want to create memories with you. They want to have a family. So this is somebody who wants to have children. They want to have family. They want that stability. They want marriage. And, yeah, they want to ease the burdens. Yeah, somebody wants to drop all the burdens. They want to create something new. They're ready to take the burdens on of another family. They're, someone's ready for this, <laughs> okay? Leaving the past baggage behind, ready for something new, ready to create new memories. Highest emotional fulfillment. Somebody wants to be happy. Yeah, they see you as a happily ever after, vice versa. Whew. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Tell me about strength. Tell me about this strength. Why is strength here? Yeah, so somebody, yeah, there we got somebody coming in very blunt. We have a Leo. Okay, so somebody's coming in to say something very quickly, a little bit blunt. Okay, this person's a little bit strong, a little confident. Okay, just a little. So yeah, there's somebody headed your way that wants to work on things. I feel like they, they're no longer working on their past relationship, marriage, or their past beliefs, the way they handle their relationships. Um, but I feel like it's you. Okay, and you're going to reach out. You're gaining the strength and the confidence to say something. Okay, and it's going to bring you a victory. So if you have Aries, Leo, or Sag in your chart, could be you. It doesn't have to be. Uh, it's just somebody who speaks bluntly. Somebody who is focused on what they want. No longer as focused on the past and ready to focus on the beginning. Gaining the strength and the confidence to speak up. So I feel like it's you, but it could be the person coming towards you as well. So it's just a formality. Tell me, let's see about this four. There we go. Yeah, so somebody is ready to invest. So somebody's not investing in anybody who doesn't want to commit, all right, or doesn't want to build a solid foundation. There'll be no more conflict. Somebody is not going to invest in a relationship that's full of conflict or a lack of trust. There needs to be trust to move forward. Somebody's leaving anything, any baggage behind. It's purging that lack of trust, purging conflict. Uh, past relationships, uh, the fear of, uh, you know, that lack of trust, and they are moving forward. So it's either you or someone else. 
Yep, there is a commitment. There's two people who are reciprocating that feel the same way, uh, ready for this new beginning. There's a mental and emotional connection here, okay? And I see this a lot of times as two people have this mental connection, okay? But uh, mostly this is moving away from what doesn't work, things that don't work anymore, old traditions and beliefs. Yeah, putting an end to it. It's time to transform. There is a change coming. Uh, after purging and healing so we're just going to go in circles and complicate this so i'm leaving it at that taurus yep milk and honey at the rainbow yeah so somebody's ready for the milk and honey uh there is <laughs> they are probably going to reach out online we have the community card this is somebody who sees the milk and honey of having a family okay Yes, they do. They're going to reach out possibly online. It's probably the only way they can at this point. All right. Online community, online connection. Uh, somebody who wants a reason to celebrate. They're ready for a family. No place like home. Yeah, someone's ready for home, ready for a family, ready to settle down. Tired of past conflicts, past traditions. Uh, somebody's changing the way they feel about marriage and commitment and family and children, the whole bit. I love it. Uh, creating a legacy together, reciprocating, working together. You both feel exactly the same about each other, that you're both a good fit here. And you both feel the same. I love it. Solid, reliable, practical, safe and secure of being together. Uh, there is a lot of safety and security in working together. You each carry some of the burdens. And uh, this is also not seeing, somebody is not seeing a relationship or a commitment or having a family as a burden anymore. They're seeing it like home, as uh, safety, security. They're feeling it's just right for them. So lovely, Taurus. All right. I wish you guys the best. Great bonus love reading. Hang in there. I know things are stagnant right now. Somebody may reach out to you online or you may eventually meet this person out in the community. In fact, you may have met them already okay in the past but this person may have been in another relationship that they needed to end okay or they just weren't ready for a relationship or a marriage or a commitment but they are now okay so take care everybody i wish you the best and i'll see you next week bye for now